Hello friends, welcome back to my next video. In this particular video, I will be demonstrating you one of the database and uh, with respect to uh, protein and drug interaction database. So we are working with respect to the interaction or else the system biology aspects. They can use this particular interaction network for designing the network with respect to protein and drug interaction. So once you use this particular database, you can just explore uh, the different uh, information with respect to which are the drugs which are interacting, or if you have a list of proteins with you, so you can find which are the drugs with respect to that, or else if you have uh, a protein list, you can find which are the drugs which are available in this particular database. So before moving ahead uh, by exploring this particular PDID that is nothing but called as the protein drug interaction database in structured human proteome. So uh, before exploring this, we uh, just want to go through this particular home page, which is giving a, a, a brief overview about the statistical information. That is how many number of drugs are available, how many number of proteins are available in this particular database, what are the different protein structures they have deposited, and which are the number of predict predictions of the interactions they have. This is the overall uh, statistical information they have given. We can even find the different uh, help and tutorial uh, link over here so that you can explore and find how actually you can give a keyword search and explore based on using this particular database. Whereas we, we have uh, different statistical as per the proteins. So how many targets are available number of putative targets predicted by using IB bind and they have used different uh, putative uh, target predictors by using SMAP. So which is what actually this uh, ally bind SMAP e finder sites. So you want to just find this particular thing. So you can just explore in the hub about page or else you can just go through in tutorials. And also you will find the references and the materials which are available over here. Okay, so uh, moving ahead, uh, how actually we can give a search in this particular database. So they have given a two uh, particular, we can say as if a search with respect to the drug name or as the protein structure. If you have a sequence with you, so you can even uh, use this particular tab for uh, giving the particular sequence, which is nothing but in the FASTA file format. So uh, we will just go uh, in this particular search by name, it's nothing but uh, the drugs which are there. So they have given the drop down over here. So based on that, uh, you, you can just select the particular drug and you can search this particular proteins which are interacting with the particular drug. Okay, so if you're uh, wondering that uh, the, your particular list of drug is not available in this particular search, so you can just give uh, the particular protein and you will find the interacting drugs with respect to that. Okay, so whereas uh, in the uh, different uh, databases are also available, so there also you can find uh, which are the particular drugs which are interacting with the protein. So if you want to just have to look towards which are the actual genes which are interacting with the particular drug. So in my coming video, uh, upcoming video, you will find that particular database and I will be exploring uh, with that particular, how to find the particular gene and drug interaction. But right now we are uh, exploring uh, which are the particular proteins and their interacting drugs are available. So uh, whereas you can use this particular uh, drop down and you can just search the interacting drugs. Whereas if you have the particular protein structure, that is nothing but here it is given as a four letter code, which is we will find in the PDB. So if you don't know what is PDB, that is nothing but the protein data bank. So we, uh, I also have the particular video in the form of tutorial, how to give the particular search and explore the PDB database. So that particular uh, video tutorial is also available in my YouTube channel, or else you can find in the particular below link uh, of the home page of the protein data bank. So uh, you can just give the particular four letter code over here and give, specifying the particular chain, and you can just click on the search. 
or else you can give a FASTA file over here in the form of the sequence, which is nothing but the protein sequence in the form of ammonia acids. And uh, you will find the different references. It's nothing but this particular research paper. Uh, once you use this particular research paper, you will actually find that how this particular methodology they have been carried out, which are the different databases they have been explored and how actually we can just use this particular database, which is called as a protein and a drug interacting database. So whereas uh, you can even find the materials over here, that is nothing but the uh, structural human proteome is been taken by the PDB identifier. And you will find the list of drugs from here and also the different databases. So this particular data, they have been given in the MySQL dump file format and PTTUT targets with the coordinates to predict the center of Likens, okay? So uh, this particular database, not only to find the particular interacting drug, but also it will give you uh, the actual interaction uh, of that particular drug in the particular protein uh, active site uh, so, or else uh, the particular pocket region where we have to find how actually we can just move ahead for uh, designing the particular uh, drug uh, by using the particular molecular docking study. So that thing also you can explore and even you can also draw or generate the interaction network. So for generating the interaction network, we have the Cytoscapes uh, app, which is very, very uh, easy to use and you can just explore. Even that particular video is also available and uh, you, you can just uh, go ahead and download from here. And we, it has been linked with PDB, drug bank, binding DB and Uniprot, which is given over here. So what we'll do, we'll just go through by giving one particular search that is over here and I, I, I just click over here. So I have given the four letter code and which has been same example. And I'm, I have clicked on the search. When I click on the search, you will get this particular page, which has been showing the results of what this particular uh, four letter code, the name of the particular protein. And you will find the percentage of identity that is based on the similarity search using the protein that is Uniprod database. You can download the particular sequence from here and the structure which is available from here. And this is the uh, information they have been given. And this is the most important thing you will get. That is the drug ID, drug name, which has been interacting with respect to that particular protein. And did it uh, as a known target. So you will find the types of interaction, the complex and the complex and the known bound and the source, which has been taken from the database. You will find the predicted as a target. So it is unlike possible target or likely to be bind. So you are actually getting the particular scores which over here, which are interacting uh, with that particular protein uh, in the form of these scores. So how this particular scores has been defined, which particular algorithms they have been used. So they, you can just go uh, in this particular database and explore uh, which, uh, what is actually the eFinder confidential score, so SAMP raw score, or IL bind binding for probabilistic scores are there. So they have given one another column, which is specifying the predicted, the coordinates of the center of the drug molecule, that is the X, Y, and Z. So just imagine that you're not only getting the particular drugs which are interacting with the protein, you are also getting the drugs in the form of the particular predicted scores, and also you are getting the center of coordinate of the drug molecule in the form of X, Y, and Z coordinate. So if you don't know what is X, Y, and Z coordinate, which is most important if you are just moving ahead for molecular docking study using Autodoc Vena or else using some commercial software. So there is a need of defining X, Y, and Z coordinate for moving ahead for molecular docking study. Whereas if you uh, want to uh, just find the X, Y, Z coordinate, for that also, we have the number of database in bioinformatics aspect. And also I have this particular video in the form of active site prediction too. So you can just explore in the, by 
getting the x, y, z coordinates. And I'm getting the x, y, and z coordinates also in this particular database. And you are getting the binding summary that is based on the known targets and method for predicting the protein as a target. So you are getting a lots of things over here. Also, they are given you the uh, structure in the form of the JMOL uh, visualizer. So JSMOL. So you will find this. So this is not nothing but the uh, protein and the, in the form of white representation. And you will find this is nothing but the drug. And you can just explore uh, very nicely using this particular database and uh, and lots of things you can just explore and you can just move ahead for going with respect to the molecular docking study or else uh, using for the uh, generating the particular protein and drug interaction network. So if you want to find the binding of drug information, how actually it has been used. So you can just use this particular help and tutorial page, which they have been given. So thank you.